To improve your freestyle stroke, prevent arm crossover, and reduce the risk of shoulder injury, focus on keeping your arms parallel in the front quadrant. If you're unfamiliar with the term front quadrant, don't worry. I have a video explaining it in detail. There's a link for it in the description below. Lie face down in the water, fully extend both arms shoulder width apart, and then align your thumbs with your forearms. Now, let's fine tune this parallel arm position. Look at your hands and slightly adjust your arms so that your shoulders are above your elbows and your elbows slightly above your wrists. It's a subtle shift, but it's crucial for an efficient stroke. Notice how my fingertips are about chest deep. This is the ideal position for your arms when you fully extend in freestyle. Practice holding this position while flutter kicking. This will help build muscle memory and solidify the correct arm angle. It's a small adjustment that can make a big difference in your speed, power, and efficiency. To help visualize the parallel arm position, imagine swimming over train tracks at the bottom of the pool. Keep each arm over a separate track as you flutter kick across the pool. This drill builds muscle memory for the correct arm position. Repeat it often and remember to breathe consistently. Once you feel comfortable holding your arms in the parallel position, take one freestyle stroke. Do this slowly, ensuring the pulling arm moves along the imaginary track. At the same time, focus on keeping your lead arm straight and over its own train track. Use the underwater recovery and extend into the parallel position before pulling with your opposite arm. Crossing your arms over the center line is a recipe for inefficient swimming, shoulder pain, and even injury. By learning the parallel arm drill, you're investing in a more efficient, powerful, and pain-free swimming future. <music>